What if you used AI to track every aspect of your life, from your sleep pattern, to your nutrition, to your faith? And what if, while doing that, you uncovered a secret that was holding you back? Well, that's exactly what I've been working on. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the AI for Everyone Daily Brief. Today, I'm talking about Operation Barnabas. This is something I've been working on for quite some time, but it basically is a AI human optimization agent. Yeah, you heard that right, an AI human optimization agent. And what I'm doing is I'm the guinea pig for the next 30 days. I am documenting everything about my life into this agent. So everything from my sleep data, I have an app through my iWatch that is tracking all of my sleep, my nutrition, what I eat, macros, micros, all that kind of good stuff. We are tracking how much the food costs, what I spend per day on food, per calorie, per gram of protein, all those kind of good things. So just all of it, all of it. Now, this concept was inspired by two things. Number one is it's September of 2025 and I turned 55 this year. And I have some bad habits that I want to break that I've never really been able to break for some reason. On top of that, I live certain eras of my life very poorly and I'm paying for that now with some health issues that just happen as you get older and I want to work on reversing some of that aging. So all that comes from here. Number two was the Johnny Ive announcement a couple of months ago now with OpenAI where they talked about a pen that would basically log everything about your life. Now, we were already promised this a bit with the Humane pen, which was a total bomb. And of course, this kind of little rabbit device here that came out, what, a couple of years ago now. Uh, but hopefully we are getting closer to that. But for now, we have to really train and work with the agent to get all the data in there that it needs and then a way for us to document inside of it. So that's what's happening. Now, I'm going to share with you my first week's report because it uncovered something that I didn't see coming. I, it, it's just mind blowing to me. So let's jump into the first week's full report here. Now, this isn't all of it. I'm not giving up the whole farm here, but you're going to see a foundational report of what it looks like when you track everything for a solid week. Now, I broke everything into buckets because I'm looking at how can you create some form of work-life balance and keep everything in kind of rotation. Life is very complicated. We get a lot of things thrown at us at any given time. So the buckets that I created are physical, spiritual, learning, mental, emotional, relationships, and work financial. And you can see here, I've created a color for each bucket. And then we create a, the AI creates a score on how I did for the week from zero to a hundred. So that's how the scoring system works there. So you can see this week, I scored 71 out of 100. Now, 71 out of 100 might not sound fantastic, but here's the key with that and why I'm excited to get that type of score. AI generally is very pleasing. It wants to please you. It's very affirming in everything that you say to it. And I've worked so hard on training to get it to be honest, tough love. I need criticism. I need to be optimized, right? So don't just tell me every idea or everything I do is amazing. If I were to go grab a Twinkie, I don't want to hear, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Just don't relish in this. I want to hear it. Look, you really messed up and here's the opportunity cost or here's what you now need to do in the gym or the weight room or on a bike or exercise to burn those calories that you just sucked down. So it's taken time to do that. I feel really good so far. The algorithm still isn't fully baked yet, but this score I do feel is in alignment with how my week went. So I just wanted to point that out because I would assume a lot of you maybe are having some of those same issues, especially if you're trying to use any of the models as a mentor 
or trying to make a decision, you need it to be a little bit tougher and um, lean on it. So again, that's why I'm excited about 71 out of 100. Now here's where it gets very interesting. And remember that secret that I told you, that thing that was holding me back? Well, it's sleep. It is sleep. And I had no idea. I thought I was an Olympic world-class sleeper. If you would have asked me that a week ago, that's exactly what I would have told you. But I'm tracking my sleep through my Apple Watch and a mobile app, feeding all that data into this. And I've come to find out that I'm a terrible sleeper, that I'm not getting that deep sleep that is needed for recovery. I'm only getting about six and a half hours of sleep per night. And out of that, I'm only getting about one hour and 10 minutes of deep sleep. And that number should be more around three hours, maybe even a little bit longer than three hours. And that's when you're in that very deep recovering sleep. So part of this is my fault. I go to bed way too late and I probably wake up way too early for that. So I'm usually in bed really about 3 a.m. and I'm up by 10 a.m. somewhere in there. So, you know, it takes some time to fall asleep, takes some time to wake up. So we see that. So you see the pattern here in the sleep ledger that our efficiency is only at 80 some percent here. We need to get these numbers up. Deep sleep, one hour, 10 minutes, one hour, 20 minutes, one hour, five minutes. So you can see I'm, I'm good at what I do <laughs> in consistency, but this is not, this is not going to, this is just not going to fare well with me over time, especially with aging. So I'm working with my AI on a plan to break some of the habits that caused this to modify my behavior and to get this improved. So I'm really excited to see where we're at three or four weeks from now and see if this has improved. Now, some of the problems could come from coffee. I do drink a lot of coffee. Uh, I'm probably not drinking enough water right now. We're somewhere between 64 and 96 ounces a day. I'm having two to three cups of coffee per day. I will have the occasional Coke Zero. And as we go into my diet, you're going to see a pattern here with the diet. Now, this is where it gets cool, too, because it's a full nutritional summary. So I log every single meal, and I, I log my grocery store, my food deliveries, my farm deliveries, the cost of everything. So we are breaking this down into cost per meal, cost per calorie, cost per gram of protein, all that kind of good stuff. Now, the diet that I've lost five pounds this week, and the diet that is working is this carnivore leaning diet, if you will, just very low carb. Now, it's not strictly carnivore by any means because it is putting some vegetables into my diet for some of the micronutrients that I'm not quite getting. It has created a full supplement plan for me that I'm on. It has given me gut health instead of a probiotic pill, it has me eating. Uh, kimchi and, and sauerkraut on top of my steaks. So it's a high protein density, high fat, low carb diet. Um, and you'll see here, most of my meals here, New York top loin chops, Chuck eye steak. Uh, th these are raw hot dogs that are all beef from the butcher, a uh, ribeye, Chuck steak. So a lot of that. And as you go down here, you can see my total spend for this week on food was $135. Uh, my daily average is around $19.30. And then you can see my protein efficiency here is $10.50 per 100 grams of protein. So very interesting there. Uh, it did give me a supplement stack. You'll see multivitamin, glycosamine, baby aspirin, vitamin D, K2, CBD, CBG. I take an omega-3 and uh, I take it at the same time. We're working on those times every single day. Uh, I'm focused on movement every day, some kind of exercise. So whether that's a walk, a bike, go to the gym, just some form of movement. And you can see here, there's a therapist insight for all of this. So here it's building momentum, but lacking resistance strength work. I did not go to the gym last week. I just did the exercise stationary bike that I have. And the next one here, family, faith, and work and learning. You can see I went to church on Sunday with the family, with grandma. Uh, I'm doing my daily rituals of prayer, meditation in the morning, my Roman study, 
uh, work. I now work in two hour focused blocks, two hour focused blocks, turn everything off, work for two hour blocks, take a break until the next block. So really trying to up the productivity in the time that I'm here in front of the computer or that I'm working with clients or whatever it is that I'm doing. Uh, I'm tracking my emotional intelligence. So I'm constantly assessing my self-awareness, my self-regulation, my motivation, all those things that make emotional intelligence what it is. Uh, so you can see all of this is really cool. And I have some focus for week two here at the bottom, improve sleep recovery. That's number one. We got to focus on the sleep. I'm going to hit the gym a couple of times here this week now that we're on it and uh, keep doing the faith, you know, spending time with God, spending time with prayer and all those things to uh, really anchor myself and understand that I'm blessed. Pretty cool. I would love to hear your feedback. Is this, if I built this, is this something you would use? Are you currently maybe using AI like this for yourself already? Is this creepy? for you. I'm, I'm very curious on that. I can tell you for me, it's, I'm seeing patterns that I couldn't see a week ago, maybe because I'm getting that 64,000 foot view now, instead of the on the ground look that I have, uh, now thinking about it, sleep seems like such an obvious problem, uh, but I didn't realize that it was, I felt like I slept all night pretty good but I am tired a lot throughout the day. So the sleep pattern is what's causing it. And AI has now opened my eyes to that. So if you could optimize anything in your life right now, what would that be? I would love to hear from you in the comment section. All right, well, that's it for me today. My name is Harrison Painter. This has been your AI Daily Brief. And until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and most importantly, keep up. God bless you. You stayed. One more spark for the plans you've made. If this show hit, go share the vibe.